So it's moving day. And that means that Kirk brings in all of the bins that we're gonna put our dry goods in and all of the ice chests that we're gonna put our cold stuff in. And so we clean up the kitchen and leave it in decent condition and pack all this stuff away and then we're on to the road again. So on moving day, the kids get to have cereal, the only day that they're allowed to have cereal. So they are gonna eat that instead of anybody making a breakfast for them. Uh, that's our luxury and in exchange we get to pack. Ha ha ha, fun fun. So you're gonna see this in speed up motion, I think, and it takes about an hour. Sometimes if it's really good, it just takes even less than that. We do that about every seven days, sometimes five days, sometimes six days. So here we go.
name is Rockstar. <gasps> Since I didn't give a quick tour or a tour of the house before, I thought I'd give a tour real quick because it's a cute house. Even though it's not as cute as when we moved in because all the beds are stripped. But here you go. This is officially the front door. Um, but you can't see a bit. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a cute front door. But you don't come in that way. This is the first room you come to. This is the one Mimi stayed in. And I'm going to turn it around. You can say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. It's a cute, cute room. Nice and big. Huh. I mean, just from the details. Very, very cute. Very turn of the century home. Love the bookshelves. Okay, this massive entryway, as you come around the corner, here I'll come to, I'll come at it from a better angle. Come in the front door and come into this room, and Adrian is holding the swing door. All right, it's, it's all done up there. This is the, thank you Adrian, the library, but it's also a bedroom, and it's pretty magnificent. It's got a swing door, which is not so great for the one who wants to be in here changing, whatever, but then it's got this extra library room, which is phenomenal. Okay, turn the lights off, follow me out. Cute, cute, cute room. This is where Ariella slept, and then this, which I love this, a little nook, and a little hidden under the stairs scariness. And then, <laughs> this was the room that Kirk and I stayed in, because I had this little desky area for Kirk to work. But this was, I don't know, the master or something. And right off of it was a bathroom. Cute little bathroom. Nice walk-in shower. And then we go up the stairs. And there's three more bedrooms up here. What? Oh, you were in that. To the right is the one that Lily stayed in. This is a giant room. You could easily fit in two beds. Closet, built-ins. But you could easily fit two beds in here because that's a bowl or a queen and it's giant in here. Anyway, second room across the hall. Again, another big room. But it probably only fits this one bed. It's got a little around the corner storage, under the roof storage, and built-ins. Oh, and then behind the bed are built-ins. Super, super cute. Really liking it. And then go down to the other side. There is a closet to the right that's locked. It's probably the, their, their storage stuff. This is the bathroom. This is very um, cabin-y feel, but it's, I mean, a nice size. For a house that only has two bedrooms, I'm sorry, two bathrooms. It's pretty, pretty great. And then the third bedroom upstairs, which is the boys' room, had two twins in it. Again, I, underneath, behind that bed, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little, you know, probably storage cubby. And then behind here, which we couldn't open because of that corner right there, this little door has some storage in there. But anyway, cute. They've done a really nice job. We liked it up a lot. We're gonna go through, there's still more part of the house. This house fit us very nicely. And we enjoyed it. Oh, hi. You ready for the restroom? It's every day to go potty because we're about to leave. This is a great house. I'm just gonna turn left. <laughs> Turning left. Okay, laundry, which is actually, Quite magnificent. If you're gonna have laundry in the kitchen, a nice um, stacked washer, dryer, and I have some towels going. The kitchen, which is now finally clean after Mimi did such a great job. In here is a beautiful little kitchen with a beautiful daughter and a son and a daughter. Oh, and. <laughs> 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 Um, Ariella, could you put that chair on the other end of that counter? It's the way we found it. Thank you. I didn't get that. What, would, what was your reply? Oh, I missed the reply. A coffee bar. And then here is, so this is the door we come in and out of. 
And when you come into this house, you get this cute living room, dining room combo. And it's just, it's perfect. Nice big table. Just really, really cute. All oh, loved it. Oh, I forgot a cute little part of this house was this back little sun area. It's a screened in porch, quaint, cute. The woodwork is adorable and has a nice little backyard. It's just too bad this house is on such a busy street because you really can't let your dogs go or your kids go or anything because the street is really busy. All right, ladies. <laughs> How's it going? I'm hungry. I don't eat anything. Oh, that's a shame. All I have is peppermint oil water, and I don't think that's supposed to be for consuming. Mm, I'm gonna say no. Goodbye, cute house. Kirk's putting the bags away. Packing her in, putting the bags away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the front of the car. There's a dog back there, I'll bet you. Let's see who's in here. Oh, you guys! Where's Alex? <laughs>